hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this video tutorial once again we are going to talk about ecological principles so in this tutorial we'll focus on blackman's law of limiting factor liebig's law of minimum and shelford's law of tolerance so let's get start with blackman's law of limiting factors the law was given by blackman and according to this law a biological process is carried out by number of factors but the process is regulated by the limiting factor that means like uh, if we talk about photosynthesis the plants require water carbon dioxide and sunlight to carry out the photosynthesis but if one of them is present in limiting amount if one of them is present in very low amount in short amount then it's gonna to affect the rate of photosynthesis so if carbon dioxide is present in very low amount it will affect the rate of photosynthesis so this is the blackman's law of limiting factor the next is law of minimum or liebig's law of minimum the law was given by liebig so according to the law the growth of biological processes is affected by limiting factors while their abundance is not gonna to affect the growth rate or development of any biological process so uh, liebig added one more point in blackman's law that is if the limiting factors are present in abundance they are not gonna to affect the rate of photosynthesis like if carbon dioxide is present in abundance it's not gonna to affect rate of photosynthesis okay so this is the law that is known as law of minimum or liebig's law next is shelford's law of tolerance so shelford's law of tolerance is a sort of modification in blackman's law and uh, your liebig's law okay so according to shelford's law rate of any biological process is not only affected by limiting factor but it is also affected by the abundance of that factors like if we talk about photosynthesis like if low concentration of carbon dioxide affects the rate of photosynthesis then abundance of carbon dioxide also affects the rate of photosynthesis so it's a sort of modifications in liebig's law abundance of factors basically they will inhibit the absorption of other factors that are responsible for the development and growth of biological process and if their absorption will be inhibited then it will automatically cease or stop the growth of biological processes so on the basis of the factors we uh, classify we divide the range of factors into different zone first is zone of intolerance this zone is unfavorable zone of factor for development means factors are not present in required amount they are not present in sufficient amount to carry out the biological process so that range is known as the zone of intolerance next is zone of tolerance it is the best suitable zone for growth and development it means the factors are present in their required amount in the efficient amount that allow biological processes to take place now the zone of tolerance is further subdivided into three critical maximum zone optimal zone and critical minimum zone understand these three terms by using this diagram i have taken this diagram from google so you can see that here they have given the high population density at the optimal range it means optimal range is the best range to carry out the biological processes here they have given the critical minimum zone this margin that is of uh, dark blue colored margin is denoting critical minimum zone means this is the minimum value at which the biological processes are carried out perfectly but below this value the rate of biological processes like here it has shown decline in the population density at the critical minimum zone or below the critical 
critical maximum zone is the maximum value of the factors at which the biological processes can be carried out but above the critical maximum zone above this value what will happen the rate of biological processes will begin to decline and below and uh, in the outer zone these are the zone of tolerance like here is the critical minimum zone and below this zone you will get a head zone of intolerance at both the side this zone of intolerance is a zone where biological processes are not allowed to take place i hope you understood these all terms if you like my lecture thank you so much